Hey folks, it's Woody here over at USMA Blade and very excited to introduce to you our newest uh, Les George knife. This is the Les George ESV. Uh, this is our exclusive and what makes it exclusive is this black DLC and the stonewashed blade. If you know me, if you've followed us, if you've watched our social media and all that stuff, then you know I am a total fiend for compact overbuilt knives. I've been plugging and talking about the, the greatness of the Hinder half track for a long time, and I feel like the Les George ESV fits right into that category. So let's give you some simple step, simple specs and things like that here, and then uh, tell a few other things about this knife and then get on to some comparisons. So uh, to start off, blade steel is S45VN. Um, people have asked me why that instead of MagnaCut. Eh, honestly, it was a toss-up, but I've been a big fan of S45. I think it's a great steel, and uh, so that's what we went with. Uh, blade length, 2.75 inches. Uh, closed is 4 inches, and overall length is 6.5 inches. Knife weighs in at 4.1 ounces. So, got some weight to it for its size, but it's just, at, at its size, and especially that sub-3 inch, it's got a great feel in the hand. It's got a great look to it. It's got some some width across the, the spine here, the back of the blade, back of the handle. So just a really good overall purchase. You can get that fourth pinky finger on there. I've got pretty big hands. And you can get that on there. It gives some comfort back there. And just a really good overall feel in the hand. Handles and fits the hand much bigger than the size of the knife that it is. I think you'll be able to see that in some of the comparisons we have coming up. Um, these are available in three different styles uh, currently, and this is the Morph, which is uh, always one of the most popular, and it's definitely one of my favorites. And then we've got it in, this is called the Sweet Finish. And then the Smooth Finish. off the back side and let me pull the sweep back out you guys can hear that thing open it fires these have been fantastic Les did a really good job with detents power smoothness everything on him he did a really good job these do run on bearings uh, i know Les does some i think the vecp some of them run on uh on phosphor bronze washers but these are on bearings and it's a just real quick side note, doesn't have much to do with the knife. Decided to do a little different background here. Uh, no particular reason, except for the fact that it is still our 10 year anniversary. And we've been putting these little cloths in with most of the knives that we sell, or at least we've been trying to. <laughs> uh, little shout out, my oldest child designed this uh, logo. So I really do love it. And funny little thing about it that'll get us to the next little part of this video is that uh, the ESV comes in a Les George zipper pouch. This patch does detach if you want to take it off and put it on your bag or anything like that. But what we did, we tried to fold this up and we'll find out here, tried to fold this up when we're selling these so that when you unzip it and pull it open, it looks like he's Looks like Sasquatch is celebrating you getting a new knife. Eh, I thought it was funny. Thought it was different. And then the knife, and we've got a little ranger eye patch in there and stuff like that. So that's how we've packaged these up or prepackaged these up to go out the door. But back to the ESV. Um, guys, it's it's one of my favorite knives that's ever been made. I think Les does a fantastic job with it. But it's just that little big carry. It's that or big little carry that I absolutely love. It doesn't take up a ton of room in your pocket, but still you just feel like you've got a very stout, very overbuilt size knife in your pocket, but it's still safe to carry to work, church, places like that. Some of you don't care. Some of you will walk right into church with a machete strapped to your back, but something for those that care, something to consider. Um, anyway, let's move on, give you guys some comparisons. Uh, show this off with some other knives here. So 
Got a, just a short list of these. I think most of them will be pretty self-explanatory. So we'll move this down here. I feel like the closer we get towards the bottom of the camera, uh, the less the angle has effect on it. So just start off, uh, we sold a lot. Sorry, this has stuff on it. I didn't realize I still got to clean it up from being on the laser. Um, so we've had a lot of people asking uh, for comparisons and we sold a whole lot of these guppies. Uh, as you can see, a little bit bigger handle on the guppy, not by much though, uh, and definitely more blade where I think you'll notice the difference on these. It's probably closed up. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. You know what? I love that, but let's get it out of here for now. So definitely can tell a different tone closed up there. Uh, but width across the back, honestly, you're, you're about even. About even. So this was our tri-step version on the guppy, by the way. Uh, next up, let's compare it to the McNeese. You know, let's start closed. McNeese Custom Knives Mac 2 3-inch and these are not uh, new models. This is this is mine. Uh, it's been very well used. Uh, a lot of the knives that I use in the videos are my personal collection. I try to handle new knives as little as possible. So, um, you know, honestly, really close in size uh, and overall length. I think you get, yeah, you get just about the same amount of handle, but definitely a more little bit thicker it's hard to see in this because of the uh finish here on the handles but a little bit thicker i think on the esv but very very close Let me lay these two down beside each other so swap that so it's you can tell at the angle a little bit all right so let's move on to, I don't have my small, it's a Benza right now. So I went with a small and cozy sitting here trying to fix them without looking at the camera. So just took them right off the screen. Uh, so, you know, honestly, we're, we're bigger than the small and cozy. It's, it's, you can definitely tell the size and the width of the handle, but a, a good chunk more length you get maybe another eighth of an inch or so of, of blade on there. Um, let's flip these over. So, oh, dag on it. I'm looking down at the mat and not at the camera again. And then definitely more thick across the handle there by far. So let's look at these closed. I don't have as many knives to show with this, so... Here I can give you guys a little bit more time and more detail. I did it again. I don't know. I normally don't video at the spot, so uh, a little different. I'm, I'm, my eyes are playing tricks on me. So you can definitely see the bigger size on that on the on the ESV. Uh, you know what? We got to compare it to a VECP. <laughs> So obvious significant differences, but you can definitely see that less George style in both of them. Uh, just one's the smaller version of the other. So kind of like XM18 three and a half and, and a half track type thing or full track and half track. But, you know, these I do believe are the same thickness across the back. So that'll, for those that have the VECP, that'll give you a good idea on that handle thickness. Uh, let's jump over. So the last few are just tenders. So we just did the VECP. Let's show that with the Hender XM 18 three and a half. And just for giggles here, we're going to throw the VECP back in here. And so that'll give you an idea of the difference in size between the Let's see if that angle makes much of a difference. Not much of one. Not much. Um, so, yeah, we got time. Let me 
sew these two closed side by side. And then we'll take that one out. And let's throw in a half track. This is our exclusive half track. So we'll spend some time on this one. Uh, realistically, overall length, boys and girls, we are the same size and closed. So opened. Oh, I, I can't tell a difference in overall length. I really can't. Um, so across the spine, I think you're a hair thicker uh, on the half track, but not by much. It's not by much at all. See, uh, exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> it's our thing. It's what I love. Uh, all right, and then, so that was the half track warning. I did get out a half track uh, just because of that way the blade is on the warning. Forgive this one. This one, I should have cleaned this better or cleaned it, period. Uh, but anyway, too late in the video. I'm not changing it now. So this is the half track. Uh, which one was this? This is a harpoon Spanto. Um, just maybe show you a little difference with them. Uh, let's flip them over here. I feel like I'm playing like a three-card Monty thing, but with knives. So hopefully this, this gives you guys, especially you half-track fans, which y'all know how much of a half-track fan I am, which is also the same things I love about the half-track or what I love about the ESV. So hopefully that helps you out some. And hey, look at that. When we did that Harpoon Spanto, that was S45 too. Uh, and then we'll finish up with the Hinder XM 18 3 inch. And there we go. You know, you get a little bit more blade. Uh, show these and take the angle out. You get a little bit more blade and just a hair bit. I mean, maybe maybe a quarter inch more in handle length, but then you get a thicker handle on the ESV. So, uh, seems to me to be thicker. It's definitely wider. All right. So that's all of them uh, on the comparison side. I hope that helped some of you. I know a lot of people have had questions about the size on these. Um, all right, let's get this back in here just to finish this thing up. See, we're celebrating. Sasquatch is celebrating. But that's it. That is the Les George ESV. It is our exclusive. Um, I can tell you that we, we're big fans of the Morph. Uh, most of Les's customers are too. So we did do a lot more in the Morph uh, and a lot less on the Plane and the Sweep. So the Plane and the Sweep will probably sell out before the Morph. Uh, these are already on our site. And we'll have another batch of them coming in just a little bit. But uh, but I, they're, they're going to be around for a while. Um, and we hope you'll check them out because they're pretty darn amazing. So I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Les George for making this fantastic exclusive for us. We're very excited to have it. So we hope you'll go over to usmablade.com and check one out. And as always, thank you for watching.